Okay, I'm Ed. This is my son Zach. We're two Canadian guys trying weird beers. And today we are little teapots. Well, uh, you know I'm short and stout, but and these are also stouts. Oh, is that uh, what your play on words was? Ha <laughs> ha! Oh ho ho! The laughs—they never stop here. So I guess it's the battle of the stouts. And are they both from the same place? No. Oh, okay. So this one, La Voix Monte, we've had uh, beer from here before. This is La Criminelle, which is actually feminine. It's the feminine version, so I guess it's the villainous or whatever. Criminal? Well, yeah, but they, they got La and L, so it's like French, they do things differently. Girls can be crime. <laughs> You heard it here first, girls. You can be crying. <laughs> so, anyways. So, ladies who are crying, this is a black stout, an imperial stout. 9.5% alcohol. Are you serious? Oh, my goodness. Oh, I know we're using the paint to uh, strip the paint off the table. Holy. Extra strong beer. Well, that goes without saying. The description is rich stout with a slight, al a slight alcohol character at 9.5%. Oh, yeah, slight. Oh, man. I think they're underplaying that. Uh, slight alcohol character, subtle aromas of licorice. Oh, no. And violet. Oh. With notes of coffee and chocolate from roasted grains. Wait. What kind of combination is that? Wait, but violet's a color, right? It's also a flower. Oh. I didn't know it was an edible flower. I suppose all edible flowers are... You know, all flowers are edible in theory. Um, man, but what kind of crackhead comes up with that combination? Uh, the people at La Voix Malte. I apologize for calling you guys crackheads. We look forward to your letters. So this is served at uh, 12 to 14 degrees. And you can serve it with a cow or a cheese wheel. Or it's good for when you're playing Pac-Man. Yeah, that looks like the Pac-Man. Waka, 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 waka. So, you know, next time you have a party, invite some cows, invite a cheese wheel, and serve them some of this Imperial Stout. Don't serve them. La Dark Soul, which is another Imperial Stout. Heritage Brew, whatever that means. And it's from Brasserie Bois Blanc, which I'm not... I, I know how to read, but <laughs> it's... It's dark on dark. Like, it's actually... It actually took me a moment. Uh, it is... Let's see. 9%. We are getting... We are going to be legless by the end of this. Wow. Two strong, dark beers, I'm guessing. 33 IBU, which I've already forgotten what that means. It's an international bittering unit. Oh. I have no longer forgotten what that means. There you go. Uh, extra strong beer... Coffee, dark chocolate, and dry? Dry what? It just says dry? Apparently dry is an ingredient. Hey, uh... I'll have a little bit of dry and a little bit of wet. Mix that together, please. Yeah. Uh, heritage malts are ancient varieties of barley that are still cultivated for their superior brewing characteristics. They provide a more rich and creamy flavor profile than standard varieties of barley, as well as creating a softer, rounder, and fuller bodied beer, like myself. Brasserie de Dubois Blanc brews exclusively with British heritage malts. Our passion is to bring you the best beer possible without compromise. And it goes well with uh, elk, grills, pots, cake, and Spartans. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not making a joke. It, there's, there, it's actually a Spartan helmet. That's true. <laughs> What does that mean? So you can uh, you can invite a Vegas hockey fan over for their birthday. You can smoke a little weed, grill something, and then invite an elk over as well. That's quite the party. I don't know what is going on with these uh, these little small brewmasters. They're they're insane. But I'm very curious about these now. Yeah, I'm not normally... Oh, this one has an IBU of 50. Ooh, that's going to be bitter. 
Mm. Wow, they even have like the carbohydrate, the uh, glucide carbohydrate, 42 grams. No, 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 nutritional facts. Don't look at them. No, no. Expunged from my memory. What was I saying? Uh, oh, I know what we should be saying. Palate cleanser time. Palate cleanser. We're going with a Don Julio Blanco. I know this has been sitting around for a while. Because I probably picked it up, I don't know, a few years ago. Wait, 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 wait. So not only is it, is it warm tequila, not it's warm, all I, tequila. I put it in the freezer for a couple of seconds before we started shooting. It was literally about like three minutes. It'll take the edge off. So, I, no, I, you can't say this is age, but it's a few Ooh, years old. careful. That glass is so chilly. Ha ha ha! Oh ho ho! Okay. In for a penny, in for the parallax view. Okay, that's alright. It's a oh, it Sticks with you though. Like it's got the paleness of youth. Ah, that's not youth, that's just sitting in the basement for, for 50 years. <laughs> got a bit of an itch. Okay, which one do you want to go with? You want to go uh, with the Feminine Criminal? Yeah, let's start with Catwoman and finish off at 300. Okay. So we'll start with the Catwoman beer. Alright. Wow, that tequila sticks. Wow, is that dark? That looks... It, I know it's not, but it looks thick. My goodness. Like, I would bet a solid fiber that there's a singularity at the, at the middle of that. That's a black hole joke. For those who didn't get it. We're all kinds of fun here. Okay. Let's smell it. it smells like... I don't know, it smells like... I can smell more of the glass than the beer. Yeah, it doesn't smell like much, which is a little frightening, mm. because... Considering all the shit that they say they put in it. Okay, all right. go. Oh, that's kind of neat. That is... Not gonna lie, that's pretty damn good. It tastes like a stout. It's got that that bitter edge, but it you know doesn't make it doesn't want to make you claw your eyes out like an IPA does. No, it's you can definitely taste the chocolate grains. If chocolate had grains, that's, have grains? that's what it says on the can. Chocolate, no, 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 chocolate no. from roasted grains, grainy chocolate, grainy chocolate. That's, grainy chocolate used to be my stage name. Now watch your tab, ladies, at your table. Let's try this again. <sighs> it definitely tastes like a stem. That's very bitter. It is it's bitter, but it's very it's tasty. Bitter. What I find interesting is that all this crap that they talk about, oh, you know, we put in licorice and violet and coffee and chocolate, and nothing is really coming up and pounding you in the face. It's for a stout. It's surprisingly subtle. Yeah, it it's it's decently balanced, but it still kind of kind of tastes like like if you milk Turkish beaver. What? Uh, it's this black licorice. It's usually called like like salmiki or salmiaki, and it's. I thought I heard milk Turkish beaver. <laughs> I'm like, ooh and ick, and why would you? Listen. When you've been married for 40 years, you gotta do something, right? Milk the Turkish beaver. Is that cool? <laughs> so. Okay, so ha having milked the Turkish beaver. Yep, that's got the flavor of Turkish beaver all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if that's an endorsement or not. <laughs> Uh, 
I apologize in advance to any Turkish fans. Yeah, it's like I'm not I'm not usually crazy about stouts because um, they're usually very bitter, uh, very dark, and really sit with you a lot. They they always taste very heavy, but this is actually quite nice. It's still not something I would go for, but if you're into stouts, I would recommend it. Yep, yep. This is if you're a fan of stouts, man, go uh, la criminal. Go for the cat woman. Yeah. Or the Turkish beaver. Either or tomato potato. Yeah. Go for the gold Turkish crime girls. Ugh. What? What? Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now that uh, criminal is behind bars, or la criminelle. Yeah. Now we can move on to la dark, dark soul. soul. Da, da, da. I'm fearful for my life. Get the exorcist, man. But before we uh, bring in the exorcist and uh, sacrifice ourselves to Satan, palate cleanser time. Palate cleanser. Boop. I always love that sound. That's my favorite part of doing these videos is the sound. Okay, Don Julio, this is for you. Bruh! Oh. If you can, if you want to. Ah. Consider that palate cleansed. Woof! Alright. Ah, my palate's been erased by that. Let's move on to. The Dark Soul. La Dark Soul. La Dark Soul. What is French for soul? I don't even know. Like, why do they call it La Dark Soul? Soul. Sole, sole. I don't know. Hold yeah. up, hold up, wait, sorry, okay. So, this is automatically... Uh, originally I thought it was pure coincidence that it was called Lead Dark Soul. And I was like, oh, haha, -ha, um, for, for anyone that, that plays video games, uh, the Dark Soul series. Uh, and I was like, oh, that's that's kind of funny. But there's there's actual, like, iconography of Dark Souls on the can. Wow, so it's a tie-in. It's actually, this is the nerdiest beer I think we've ever drank. That is explain everything. I'm so curious now. Beers, beers for nerds. <laughs> I just thought this was gonna be another thing like from the depths of hell or whatever, but no, I didn't do a video game, so. Um, are there elks in the video game? Um, I don't recall seeing many elks, but... What about uh, Spartans? There's Spartan-esque. Spartan-esque? I mean, there's not, like, straight Spartans. Then again, I, I don't know many Spartans uh, who were straight. My body's not Spartan, but it's Spartan-esque. Okay, this is a mystery wrapped in enigma, wrapped in a riddle. So better get moving and uh, give that dark soul a whirl. Wow, wow that is even God! Bringing flies. This is even darker than the criminal, than the cat woman. That is really. It's dark and it's thick. I feel like I'm even. Even the head is darker. Don't. No, no. <laughs> I feel like I'm pouring black scrap molasses. It does. It actually looks like molasses. This is absolutely. Whoops. Whoa! How did. Whoa! Nothing to see here. You can edit that, that out with, with uh, movie magic, right? Uh, no, I'm not that good. These aren't the droids you're looking for. We'll just hide that with this. There you go. Done and done. Okay, Whoa. let's smell this. That smells like... The smell of death surrounds you! Fun fact, that was uh, one of the first lines you hear the character say in the first Diablo game. What? Yep. Really? Yep. I did not know that. I don't know anything about video games. So there you go. 
nerds. More nerdism. This is uh, like a, the all nerd episode. Okay, I will uh, go to go. It tastes like I died. It's weird. It's it's not really. It's it's not. It doesn't taste as strong as it it should, based on everything that. Uh, but it, there's a certain. There's a little hint of lawn trimmings to it. Yeah, it's what is it? It's all natural, no preservatives. Water, malted. Oh, for the love of God, put in some preservatives. Give us some flavor. Water, malted barley, oats, hops, and yeast. Yeast! 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 I don't know what happened to my body there. I couldn't say the, <laughs> I couldn't say the word yeast. It's the dark soul. Oh, it is not. It's not nice. My soul is not dark. It's a warm cocoa. I don't know, so it doesn't see lawn trimmings in the ingredients? Because that's what I'm getting. No. Uh, uh. Yep, there it is. The taste of freshly cut grass. Not that I've ever tasted freshly cut grass. So, uh... Brasserie Bois Blanc, uh, if you're trying to, to bottle how it tastes like to play Dark Souls, you did it. Really? I mean, a rousing triumph from our friends at. Where is this? Rasserie de Bois Blanc. Yep. Which means white boots. There's a heavy accent on white in the beer industry, and I'm disturbed by that. No. Gotta go back in. <sighs> oh. Yep. Stout bitterness and lawn trimmings. That's this beer. Yep. But I don't mind it. Really? Yeah. Well, I mean... Uh, you don't mind lawn trimmings? More for me! Well, not in this context. Well, it's... Did so you enjoy lawn trimmings in any context? Well, not really. But imagine... Um, the beer being filtered through a bag of lawn trimmings. That's what you're getting. It gives, I, it, a, yes, it gives I, it a certain I, je ne sais pas. Yes, I am sold now. <sighs> Oof, excuse me. Well. Yeah, th this, this heritage should not have been passed on, I feel like. But, uh, we can get 20 cents back for this. Oh my god, it's a refundable can. Apparently. So, uh, hey, you know what? Good on you guys. Well, you got the little uh, recycling uh, symbol on the side. So not only is it a nerdy beer, it's a socially conscious beer. Proud of you. Yep. Well, I don't I don't feel like my soul has been darkened by drinking it. It's not, not very pleasant to me. He likes it. Um, for me, it... Tastes but like, hey, I'm an idiot who likes lawn trimming, so. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> not not good. It, it it tastes like fighting Orange Sea and Smoke for the fifth time. That's a Dark Souls joke. Which I didn't get. So that was about 18.5%. Well, no, that's not the way it works. You can't combine yeah. the percentages. Uh, Yeah, I can. 9 plus 9 is 18. No, that's not the way it works. You know, it's not like you have five of these and it's the equivalent of one shot of alcohol. Well, yeah, well, because look, math makes nine an even number, right? Because nine and nine is 18. That's science, baby. No, I bet down to science. If it's science, it must be true. Yep. All right. Until it's not. Well... I think that does it for for these two. So, La Criminelle, definitely enjoyable if you're into stouts. Yep, pretty good. A Dark Soul, I can't even recommend it for nerds. Give it a shot, maybe you like it. It's it's definitely drier. 
Uh, it should be because dry is apparently one of the ingredients. Yeah. So. I like them both, to be honest. I don't mind a stout beer, and uh, I kind of like the flavor of both of these. So I give them I give them a thumbs up. He's kind of iffy, iffy on, yeah. on a dark soul. What a stout adventure. It's true. I feel stouter just uh, by having been on this adventure. I shrunk by like three inches. I widened by like four. Cold showers are, work very differently for you. But I'm punch. <laughs> as as the, uh, the Spanish say, horrible. <laughs> Catwoman beer, yes, from both of us. Nerdy beer, yes, from me. Question mark, no, from him. Sorry, nerds. But this was a positive outing, all, all, all told. So, Absolutely. brasseries, be proud of your beers. And uh, I guess that's it. Uh, that's two Canadian guys uh, drinking weird beers. <laughs>